Even though the UW campus was shut down this Thursday, the Huskies game against the Cal Bears was played as scheduled. Fans showed that neither rain nor sleet nor snow could stop them from watching their dogs play as they filled up the Alaska Airlines Arena by the start of the first. But it would ultimately be the Bears who came away with the win, leaving the Huskies devastated by the last minute loss. Welcome back to Heck Edmondson Pavilion. I'm Taylor Soper, sports multimedia producer at The Daily. And I'm Lauren Lemieux, basketball analyst for The Daily. And I'm Jacob Thorpe, the basketball columnist at The Daily. And we're here on Thursday night, and it, it was almost like deja vu from Sunday night's win over Wazoo. Huskies down in the second half, come back. Romar gets another technical, but this time the ending's not so good for the UW. They come out losing to Cal 69-66, and it was a big game to lose because Cal was first place in the Pac-12, so let's get right to the highlights. About one minute into the game, Aziz Endai was the first to score with this jumper, but Cal answered right back with this three from Alan Krabs, giving them a 3-2 lead. With 17-26 left to play in the half, Desmond Simmons made this shot to bring the Huskies within one, followed about a minute later with this jumper from Terrence Ross to give the Huskies the lead at 6-5. Justin Cobbs tied it up for the Bears at 6 with the free throw with 16 left in the half, but Aziz made this shot 15 seconds later to give the Huskies their last lead in the entire game at 8-6. Then, with 8.44 left in the half, it was Justin Cobbs again for the Bears, who brought them to a 10-point lead at 22-12. With a preview of the scoring he would do in the second half, Abdul Gaddy hit this three-pointer for the Huskies, bringing the score to 33-25, with a little over a minute left to play in the first. But the Husky defense was nearly absent the next play down the court as Robert Thurman slammed it down for the Bears, giving them a 35-25 lead to close the half. Two minutes into the second half, Aziz Endai had this dunk, closing the gap to seven for the Huskies at 37-30. But unfortunately for the Dogs, Cal just wasn't letting up, and it was Thurman again who slammed it in, bringing the score to 45-32 with 15-10 left to play. Then Abdul Gaddy got aggressive and drove for this basket to bring the score to 47-36 with 14-23 left to play. Next play down the court, Gaddy comes through with another drive for the Huskies, gets fouled but makes the shot and finishes up with a free throw, bringing Cal's lead down to 8 at 47-39 with 14 minutes to go. With almost no defense from Cobbs, Tony Roten knocks down this 3 with 10-17 left to play, bringing the score to 53-47. Then, Roten is fouled on a drive with 8.35 left to play and hits both his free throws to make it a four-point game at 55-51. Next, it was deja vu from the Wazoo game last Sunday as Coach Romar received a technical foul with 6.54 left to play for his reaction to this foul by Aziz Endai. Cal went 4-for-4 four four on their free throws to bring the score to 59-51. But there was still hope for the Huskies as Terrence Ross drained this jumper followed by this smooth move from Gaddy, making it a 6-point game at 61-55 with 5.09 left to play. Then Roten made this and one with 3.46 remaining to bring the score to 63-58. Next came Terrence Ross with this 3 with 137 left to play. The score, Cal 66, UW 61. Tony Roten then got this major steal on Cal's end of the court and passed it up the floor to Desmond Simmons, who made this layup to bring the Huskies within a mere three points of the Bears at 66-63 with 104 left to play. But Harper Kent went two for two on his free throws off a foul committed by Darnell Gant, and with only 33 seconds left to play, the Huskies trailed by five. With 17 seconds left to play, Ross missed this three, but then was given a second chance by an offensive board from Gant, who kicked it back out to Ross, who didn't fail on his second attempt, making it a two-point game at 68-66 with 11 seconds to go. UW sets up in a full-court press for the next play, and Simmons fouls, sending Justin Cobbs to the line with eight seconds to play. Husky fans roar as Cobbs misses his first, but are quiet as his second goes in, making it a three-point game at 69-66. With two seconds left, the Huskies took one last shot, but Gant misses this three-pointer and the win goes to Cal with a 69-66 victory over the Huskies. I mean, it, I, I thought it was a fun play. Darnell, I came in on time, he doesn't need a big shot if the ball was given to him. So. I didn't feel like, oh man, I, I think I should have a ball, but I, I mean, I thought that Darnell was going to make it. I mean, that's probably the first time I've ever seen him miss a shot that was clutch or, or that big of a shot. He shoot over 40% going into this game from the three-point line. So, you know, sometimes just because someone's having an off night, if you look at the body of work 
that they've put forth. You take the chance with them. If you were a 10% three point shooter, you would never, never have done it. But he's shooting a pretty good percentage, and he's been knocking those down. They just didn't fall for him today. And we're back at Heck Edmonds Pavilion, and let's talk about that last play. Husky is down by three. They've got to go the length of the floor. Do you like the play call for Gant? He wasn't playing very well tonight. Yeah, he was only 0 for 8 leading up to that shot. But, you know, last game against Wazoo, he was 3 for 5, over 40% on threes. And Romer saw him as the person to go to. He got a great shot, but it didn't just go in. And Terrence mentioned that usually Darnell makes those kind of shots. So I think it was a good play call. It just didn't happen to fall for the Huskies. You know, while Gant was not so good tonight, the other big man, Aziz, was very good. You know, 14 and 12, probably one of his better games this season. What did you like out of him tonight? Absolutely right. What I liked about today was Aziz is starting to show that he's taken that next step. Mm -hmm. All year he's kind of been, he's been doing a little more scoring, a little more rebounding for the Huskies, but he's starting to show he's good enough that he can see a mismatch and take advantage of it. Cal wasn't very big in the front court, and when they fed Aziz, he turned around, made a hook shot, made a couple lay-ins. He was a beast offensively on the board, six offensive boards, some of which were putbacks, and that really allowed the Huskies to stay in the game, especially early on. Uh, Aziz, Aziz was just very aggressive. He wasn't falling away when he was in there. He was going straight to the rim, and uh, he was going strong. So. And you mentioned early on, and a lot of Terrence was talking about it, Romar was talking about you know, them being lethargic and not coming out with energy. Like they, like, it was almost the same thing against Wazoo. No energy, even though they're at home, for God's sakes. What was wrong, and like, what can they do to fix that, do you think? I don't know, but they're going to have to fix it to very quickly. That's two consecutive games now where the Huskies have only scored 25 points in the first half. Mm -hmm. That's very atypical for a Romar coach team, which usually the Huskies are among the leaders in the countries in scoring average per game, but they're really digging themselves these holes with their inability to score early in the game, and that's something Romar's got to fix right away for this team to stay competitive. So C.J. Wilcox, second leading scorer on the team, misses the second consecutive game. Did you notice it more this game in the loss against Cal? Yeah, I think everybody noticed it more this game. Um, against Wazoo, C.J. was out, as you said, but we came off with a win, and Terrence had that outstanding performance, so it wasn't highlighted as much. But this game, we definitely noticed it. He's a guy that scores about an average of 15 points per game, so to not have him in a um, three-point game makes a mm -hmm. big difference, and hopefully it doesn't stand out again against Stanford on Saturday. Right, as you said, they'll have another chance to move up the standings. They play Stanford here at Heckett on Saturday, and hopefully the ice and snow is all melted up by then. It's Cal 69, UW 66. For Jacob, Lauren, I'm Taylor. We'll see you next time on the Husky Highlight Show.